Hello there, my name is Kapenda and I am in Germany. So today um, I've been, you know, looking and observing how Germans uh, behave and I've been observing some of the things they do, what they say and how they, how they react to certain situations. And uh, basically I've come up uh, with, with, you know, a few things that I think are typically German. Of course, this is just my view, but uh, either way I'd like to share with you guys. So yeah, um, take a look at what I think is typically German. So, the first thing is that um, Germans are always on time. Germans are very punctual. I tell you people, we all know um, and that's what everybody says and people think, you know, it's a lie and it's a joke. But uh, take it from me, I've been here for quite a while now and this is my second time here. And uh, throughout all my experiences, I've noticed that Germans are on time. But of course, I mean, everywhere there are those people who never really care about time, you know. They say five minutes, they come after 50 minutes. Um, yeah, but basically Germans are always on time. Yeah, sure. Always. <laughs> yeah, um, one more thing. Germans have a really barred sense of humor. By barred, I mean that, you know, Germans cannot really fully express what they're feeling, you know, but their humor, because, you know, they have all this little, you know, episode that happened back in the days where, you know, they can't really say anything they want to say on the streets. In Namibia, you know, we, we say all the crazy, you know, shit we want to say when we want to say it. Like right now, for example. Uh -huh. Next, bread and sausages. You put the two together and you have awesome. I tell you, the Germans have great breads and great sausages. Let me just give you a few names, you know, and, 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 and the names are funny too. Like, you'll probably laugh at them. So I'm going to start with the breads. First bread is... Schwarzbrot and then you have Weißbrot Pumpernickelbrot which I first thought was pimple bread because that's how it sounded to me uh, You have Weltmeister Meist, Meist, Meister? Hmm. Weltmeisterbrot Yeah, that's that's what it is Weltmeisterbrot if you were to translate that it means something like world champion bread Funny um, a friend of mine just told me Right now, that Weltmeisterbrot was actually um, named that because when Germany won the World Cup in, I don't know, centuries or whatever, decades ago, um, the bread was kind of named after that. So it, I know, I'm, I'm guessing was it probably went something like, Here is the Weltmeisterbrot für der Deutsche Mannschaft. Woo! I don't know, something like that probably. Yeah, oh well. And the last bread is... Um, it's 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 promenade mission or something like that. I, I don't know promenade to me. It sounds like promenade mission You know, it's like something like you know people doing the war trenches. We are going through the promenade mission Woo! Yeah, so that's German bread and then now for the sausages for the sausages. I love the German sausages I tell you they are awesome. You have currywurst. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's something like that um, You have bratwurst, which is my favorite um, you have Weißwurst um, and again there is a uh, Bockwurst if, if you have to translate that in, in maybe in Afrikaans it means something like uh, like 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 uh, like boss boss sausage like I'm a Bockwurst and like I'm a boss sausage Yao. Oh. so um, this is this is the next thing that I'm about to say is pretty serious um, it's sad but, but it's serious okay and hear me out, and, and you have to listen pretty carefully. Germans can't explain things in English. It's that simple. They just can't. They try so hard, and sometimes I, I feel pity for them because I have this beautiful German girl standing in front of me, and I ask her to explain something simple, and she just can't. It's, it's pretty sad, but it's the reality of it. Well, not all Germans, I mean, because you have the smart Germans who know English, you know? Like they stand in front of me and they, 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 they say things and I'm like, ah, okay, 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 can you explain that for me, please, you know? And I think I know English, but it's just what I think. Who cares what I think, <laughs> you know? So yeah, Germans can't explain things in English. I don't just say Germans can't explain things because, because it, it happened to me. Not once, not too many times. Not too many times. Not three times, but many times. Okay, cool. Uh, so, no offense to, to you guys, but... Um, the Germans, Germans are not boring, I tell you. If there is one thing they are not, they are not boring. Um, but perhaps they are just not enthusiastic enough. 
you know they're cool though because i mean like you know they, they they always you know do all this cool stuff but they just don't do it with enthusiasm you know it's like when they crack a joke it's just like yo one guy stands he cracks a joke they all laugh and then 30 seconds later they all walk away like if we were to crack jokes for example in namibia like we laugh for the whole day you know that's and then everywhere we go we refer to that joke and we try and get every possible thing you know to fit with that joke and we laugh about it some more no Germans are not boring now, I tell you. Just not enthusiastic enough. Germans are law abiding. Yes, I said it. They are law abiding. And they really are. I mean, look, you, truly, one thing, Germans do not jaywalk. I mean, you find those who jaywalk here and there, but it's all because they are drunk. And you know, when you're drunk, you do anything. But in general, you know, um, an average German citizen does not jaywalk in Namibia we do that all the time it's it's normal you know it's just one of those things in Germany people stand at the red traffic light waiting for it to turn green and they stand like this and that's how they stand for the duration of it until it's red you know green for them to walk even in the blackest of night you know no cars are coming and say you're walking home she's a girl probably even I don't know 16 years old with a sexy looking mini skirt but she won't have a mini skirt because it's cold here, like big coat and there are like two creepy guys walking behind her. She's still gonna stand at the freaking traffic lights for five minutes just waiting for it to go green. And there are no even cars coming. I mean, what the hell? Why are they so law abiding, man? Take a chill pill and jaywalk or something. Yeah, I said it. Wanna arrest me now? There are many more typically German things I've, I've noticed, but uh, there's not a lot of time for that. But now that I'm in Germany, you know, um, and I, I see all these different things that the Germans do, or, you know, what, what it is they, that they, you know, engage themselves in, I've, I've come to learn of myself as a Namibian living in Germany, what is typically Namibian. <laughs> because um, you have all these things that they do, things we don't do, things we do, things that they don't do, you know? And for example, I, I, I do not only say Germans are on time because I've seen them be on time here. It's because in Namibia, I'm never on time. Well, not, not me, I'm always on time. I mean, you know, like Africans in general maybe are not on time, you know? Um, also, like, you know, it's, 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 it's typically German that, you know, Germans love their sausages, their bread. In Namibia, well, it's just another sausage and another bread, but we have awesome meat, though. Yeah. Um, and then, so I've come to learn all these things. And I will be telling you about what is typically Namibian in a while, though. Just not today. So you guys should check out this video and feel free to comment if you want. Tell me what it is you think I'm wrong at, what you think is right. And probably some more typically German things that I can talk about in the, in the next video. Probably even make two episodes of it. So yeah, feel free to do all this and um, thanks for watching. See y'all. Peace. I'm gone.